Hi everybody, Cat Snails here. We are doing a military type or camouflage style nail today. I am going to be using Dazzle Dry products and if you've never used Dazzle Dry before, there's going to be some things that you're going to see while I'm putting together this video that's going to look a little bit odd. Excuse my boo-boo right over there on my thumbnail too. I was debating whether or not to even make this video because I had that. But uh, this is a fun nail. It's really easy to do. But going back to the Dazzle Dry products, you can see there on my middle finger that with one thin coat it doesn't look like there's a nice coverage it looks kind of spotty or streaky don't worry about it if you've never used dazzle dry with the second coat it will actually fill itself out and there is no need to put a first heavy coat or a second heavy coat on make sure to keep your coats on the dazzle dry thin and it will do an awesome job right there to the split screen you can see how it looks just after two coats Going into step two, we are going to Manhattan Mink 423. That is where I'm just going to take and just pull and drag some dots right on top of that Need For screen. Again, just creating some sporadic spots. I know the color is kind of hard for you guys to see, but again, you're just randomly putting dots of this color right on top of that green. Next color is going to be Mystical Voyage 354 and again all I'm doing is randomly dragging and pulling a little bit of that color miscellaneous spots on the nails. Again just creating kind of like that camouflage look. So the last color that I'm going to be using on the Dazzle Dry is Summer Safari 435. Now if you don't have these colors, you can use very light colors. Again, all I'm doing is sporadically putting and dragging some of this color randomly on top of the forest green, just again to give it kind of like this patchy camouflage type of look. I wanted to add an accent, so I thought an eagle would be kind of cute. This is Bundle Monsters H25 plate, and I'm just taking some black art liner, basically just to fill that in, and I'm going to stamp that right on top of my nail. I am not the best stamper in the world. As a matter of fact, that's something I need to work on. And because I'm not a great stamper, what you're seeing me do is I'm taking my eyeliner brush and I'm pulling a little bit of the feathers right back into that design just so that eagle is a little bit more defined in this particular mani. In this one section, I took an empty art liner bottle and I put acrylic paint in it. The reason that I put the black acrylic paint in it is because I went ahead and put a top coat on my nails. The nice thing about it is if you're practicing and you're trying to figure out how you want to do your lines, you can take a wet cotton ball and just wipe it off if you don't like it. If you have top coat on, it's very easy to do and you can relook at your nails and kind of decide what you're going to like and what you're not going to like. It makes it real simplistic and then you can kind of figure out your design. So if you're playing around a little bit, and you say, hmm, maybe it would look at this way, maybe I'll make a couple of wispies, maybe I'll kind of do this, maybe I'll make a curly cue, and you don't like it, then again, just take a wet cotton ball and wipe it off. It's no harm, it's very easy to do with that top coat on, and then you can go back and you can actually do what you wanna do in the design. So here what I'm doing is I'm just finishing off what I think that I want my design to look like, you can do yours any way that you pick.
So here's my finished look. Camouflage nails. Or military nails. You decide whichever one you want to go with. It's a super fast, quick, and cute mani. I'd love to see you guys do this and show it to me on my Facebook page, Now Art by Cats Nails. Don't forget, we'd love to have you join our page where we always keep it positive. And again, thanks for watching.